Hi, I'm Minda from My Online Training Hub. In this Excel tutorial, we're going to look at the count if and count ifs formulas, and I'll show you a few different ways you can use them. The count if formula works almost in the same way as the sum if and sum ifs formulas, only they're slightly simpler. The count if and count ifs formulas extend the capabilities of the basic count formula by allowing you to tell Excel to only count items that meet a certain criteria. New in Excel 2007 is the count ifs formula, which allows you to stipulate multiple criteria, hence the plural. That's enough explanation. Let's dive into an example as it's easier to visualize. You'll find the count if formulas. We click on the formulas tab down here in the more functions and under statistical. We've got count if and count ifs here. We'll take a look at the count if first. I'll just move this up a little bit. The first section is the range. So this is simply the range of cells we want to count. And the second part of the formula is our condition that needs to be met. I'll just close that down and we'll look at our sample data and then we'll apply the formula. So here we've got a table and what I've done is underneath I've set up some summaries. So in the first example we're going to look at just the count if and we want to summarize the number of occurrences of each builder in this table here. So if we click on the cell and we start entering our formula Excel brings up this list of possible form formulas it could be and we can use the uh, arrow keys to scroll through the list or use our mouse to select it and then once it's highlighted we can press the tab key and Excel completes the first part of the formula for us. So you can see here it's prompting us that the first part of the formula Excel wants is the range so since we wanted to count the instances of the builder we highlight the builder range. I'm just going to hit the F4 key and what that does is makes that range absolute and the reason I've done this is because once I've finished this formula here I'm going to copy it down the rest of this column and complete the table and if I don't have that absolute then as I copy this formula down this range will move down one row at a time also and we don't want that. So we'll move on and enter a comma and that brings us to the next part of our formula which is the criteria and there's two ways I can do this the first way is to simply type the builders name in with surrounded by inverted commas like that and then close the brackets and if I press enter you can see it correctly counts one instance of Doug in this range here the better way though because I want to copy this formula down would be to reference this cell here and that just saves me having to change the name each time I copy the formula down. So I'm not going to make that absolute because as I copy the formula down I want it to dynamically update to the next cell. So I hit enter and then I can drag the fill handle down and you can see it correctly counts two instances of Dave, two of Brian, and one of Larry. Now I've used a basic example here just to illustrate how to use the count if formula but you could also achieve this count by builder using the subtotal tool. You'll find that on the data tab here or you could also do it using a pivot table but they're lessons for other days. So let's take a look at the count ifs now. So underneath here I've got another table and Extending on the previous count if example above, say we wanted to only summarize the data by builder for jobs in the south region. We could use the count ifs formula as it allows us to set more than one condition, hence the s for the plural. So in this cell here I'm going to start my formula, I'll use my arrow keys, hit tab. Now you can see here the count ifs specifies criteria range 1 and this will be criteria 1 and then so on and so forth criteria range 2, criteria 2. You'll see as we build it it will prompt us to enter the relevant information. So the first range is the builder's name and again we'll press F4 to absolute it. Enter a comma and the criteria is Doug first of all. We won't absolute that because we're going to copy it down and we'll press comma and now it's asking us for criteria range 2. Well the second criteria is south 
So we need to highlight the region. We'll absolute that and then we'll press comma and we'll click on south. Now I'm also going to absolute south because as I copy this down I want it to remain on uh, remain referencing south so we need to have that absolute. I'm going to close my brackets and hit enter. So we can see there's only one instance of Doug and he's in the central region so it's correctly counted nothing for Doug. Now I'll just double click and copy my formula down and you can see there is actually only two jobs in the southern region, one for Brian and one for Larry. Now again I've used a simple example to illustrate this formula but you could also achieve this summary for each builder by region using a pivot table. Now there's a few other ways we can use the count if formula and I worked through these scenarios back at our website www.myonlinetraininghub.com The link below this video will take you to a detailed text version of this tutorial and you can download the workbook used in this example so you can practice. Also if you want to watch the rest of this video where I show you several other scenarios in which you can use count if formulas go back to our website and sign up for our free Microsoft Office online training. You'll get access to a further 10 hours of Microsoft Office online training including Excel, Word and Outlook where we cover the basics plus many of the power features most people will never even know exist. Thank mm -hmm. you.